Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Olenia Perez and Nijet Abasov. This is a game from the World Cup, played in Kanti in 2019, and this is a rapid game. Perez had white pieces and he started with e4. Abasov played c5, the Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to b5, the Rosolimo attack. Knight to f6, bishop takes on c6, d takes on c6, d3, g6, h3 preventing bishop to g4. Black to move. Knight to h5 was played. Bishop to g7 is the standard move. Knight to h5, this move looks a bit odd. But the truth is, this year in the Riga Championship, black won with this move. Perez played bishop to e3, b6, white to move. In the before mentioned game, white played queen to d2 and came second. Perez played a4, a5, Perez castled kingside, bishop to g7, e5 preventing the knight from going back to f6, f5. So if castling, then g4, and the knight is dead. f5, pawn takes pawn on passan, knight takes on f6, white move. Perez played this very clever move, queen to c1. Why not queen to d2? If queen to d2, then knight to d5, and after bishop to h6, Bishop takes on b2. Back to our game. Queen to c1. And this avoids the problem shown in the previous variation. Let's see how. Knight to d5, bishop to h6, and bishop takes on b2. Doesn't work, does it? Abasso castled king's side. Bishop takes on g7, king takes on g7. The best defender of the king is gone, and the black king may have a problem on the dark squares. Knight from b to d2, knight to f4, rook to e1, bishop to e6, b3, bishop to d5, queen to b2, check, king to g8, rook to e3, planning to double the rooks on the e-file, queen to d7, c4, bishop to e6, rook from a to e1, rook from a to e8, knight to e5, attacking the queen, queen to c8, knight to e4. Bishop to f5, knight to g5. The knights have turned into the dragons. And even a prince would have a problem killing two dragons. h6, attacking the knight. Or should I say dragon? It is white to move. And this is very interesting moment of the game. What is the best square for the knight? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? I guess most players would play knight to f3. Do you agree? And I also guess the Tal would play the same move as Perez did in this game, and that is knight to g4. Would you play this move too? Or would you play knight to f3? Black to move. How would you continue? Would you capture the knight on g5 with the pawn? Or the knight on g4 with the bishop? Abasso played bishop takes knight, let's take it back. If h takes on g5, then one line goes like this. Knight to h6 check, king to h7. Rook takes pawn check, king to h6. Queen to g7 check, king to h5. Queen to h7 check, mate. Back to our game. Bishop takes on g4, removing the more dangerous knight. Rook takes pawn on e7. Rook takes rook. Rook takes rook. It is black to move. And this is now the most critical position of the whole game. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Please pause and find the best defense for black. What did you find? Did you find this move, knight to h5, preventing queen to g7? If you did, no, 
Congratulations. This is the move played in the game. Let's take it back. The best move in this position is knight to e2 check. And now, if king goes to f1, h1 or h2, really doesn't matter. The knight goes to d4, plugging the hole and winning the game. Amazing, isn't it? Back to our game. In this position, knight to h5. Pawn takes bishop, queen takes on g4. Knight to e6, attacking the rook, rook to f6, let's take it back. If queen to f5, then rook to g7 check and after king to h8, rook to f7 discover check, king to g8, rook takes rook, check, winning the game. Back to our game. Rook to f6, white play the move and black designed. And the move is queen to e5. Black resigned. One line goes like this. Queen to f5. Queen to b8 check. Rook to f8. Knight takes rook. Queen takes knight. Rook to e8. Queen takes rook. And then white plays the obvious. Queen takes queen check. And I guess we can stop here and let's go back to move 27. This is the position. Amazingly, both players missed this move. Knight to e2, check. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.